A rectangular yard has an area of 2200 square feet and a length of 55 feet. Find the width. So let's see what we have here. We know that we're talking about a rectangular yard. So let's draw a sketch of a rectangle just so we can start seeing visually what we're dealing with here. So I'll just kind of sketch out a little rectangle. Won't be perfect, but it'll certainly give me a picture of what's going on. And they tell me that it has an area of 2,200 square feet. So the area is going to be the space that gets covered by this thing, this whole inner part. So they're telling me that that's 2,200 square feet. So I'm going to kind of label that inside of my, my rectangular yard here. Now they're also telling me that this has a length of 55 feet. And it really doesn't matter which side you want to be the length and which side you want to be the width. I think I'll call this side down here the length, and I'll call this side over here the width. So they told me that the length is 55 feet. And then I want to say, so what are they asking me to find? They want me to find the width. We don't know what the width is going to be here. So what we want to do is we want to rely on a formula that we've seen before for finding the area of a rectangle. The area of a rectangle, remember, the formula to find that is area equals length times width. And for this formula to use this, we have two pieces of information. We have the area, remember that was this information here that we filled in, the area was 2200 square feet. And we also know what the length is, the length is 55. So let's go ahead and put those values into our formula. We have 2200 equals the length, which we know is 55. So just putting those pieces of information in. And then they're telling us that we're going to be looking for the width. So that's the W part. So now we're ready to solve. Well, this is going to be a pretty straightforward equation to solve. We want to get W by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 55. And when we divide 2200 by 55, we're going to see that we end up with 40. And on the right side, the 55s are going to cancel out, and we will just have a W. And so we think that that means that the width, we always want to be sure that we answer the question clearly, the width of the yard, because we were talking about a yard, is 40 feet. And notice that we can just double check real quickly. It's always good to double check these things to just make sure that we know what, what we've got going on here. So we think that the length times the, times the width is going to give us the area. We know that the length that we were given was 55. We found the width to be 40. And that's supposed to come out to be 2,200. And if we actually do that multiplication, we can see 55 times 40 does, in fact, come out to be 2,200. So 2,200, yep, that equals 2,200. So we know that we have the correct answer for our problem here. Now, one thing we want to be aware of here, we've sort of labeled out what our variables are going to represent. A lot of instructors will want you to write um, what the variable is that you're solving for. So you may want to do a let statement of let w equal the width, just so we're sure we know what we're dealing with in this kind of a problem.